What's up, people? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to another vlog of Drink Whips. And uh, as you guys already know by the title, that this is the video that we're gonna be. What's up, guys? Coding the butt in. Last time we tried doing it, and it didn't work out. So what we really had to do is let me explain it to you guys real quick. Let me grab that. All right. So as you guys already know, this is where we were and where we left off. So when you were trying to connect it in and it wasn't connecting, your connection failed. So we found out that you gotta go to settings, settings right here on the bottom. And then right here, you get a uh, the redraw frequency. You get a select fast, and then uh, you go up here on the inter interface. Go to interface, and for the interface type, you're you're gonna have to select the the ELM 327 1.3 whatever all that high speed. If high speed doesn't work, you can always select the Bluetooth. So it's gonna have to like you're gonna have to see which one works with the car. So the high speed works with our car. And the speed is uh, supposed to be 38, uh, 400. And after you press that, do that, then you just test it. We already done that already. And make sure your high uh, latency mode is latency mode is on and show available COM uh, parts only. That's selected too. After that, you just press OK. Or on the bottom, press OK and make sure right here, Alpha Romeo and the, your engine type is selected. And from body, your uh, proxy laminate uh, pro procedure. That should be selected and then after the settings is done then you just basically connect it press connect and this is after all the wires are connected to the OBD and your computer and then it should connect to your ECU there you guys and it's gonna give you the warning that all that your, your shit is actually connected to the, uh, the car now so then you press Y that's because you're gonna continue see it says white call is properly configured Proxy lime is not needed. Press Y to continue. So I'm gonna just press the Y, and yep. All right, guys. So after it, you're on this page. After you press the Y already. So you see up here it says info, info graph and adjustments. So you go to adjustments, and this page should come up. And then you're gonna find the dynamic control selector, and it says type one. So you gotta press that, select it, and then execute. Execute right here execute and then see this says type 1 you're supposed to select the type 3 the your type 3 DNA support and the type 1 is the one that you have uh, right now the DNA and the type 2 is just a uh, DNA and with the uh, sport right yeah it doesn't turn off the traction control so the tri type 3 is the one that you want that'll uh, activate this button and with the race model uh, it'll uh, turn off the traction control so after you press that then you just execute or I think select it first, select it. then OK. Please confirm dynamic control selector, type whatever, whatever, and then you press yes. Complete, and it'll go away itself. Uh, after you're selected your DNA Sport Plus, you select your proxy alignment procedure, and then you execute from the bottom right here, and execute, and uh, read all notes, and yes, it's doing it. I think while it's doing it, or after it's done, it's gonna give you a bunch of signs on the the cluster. But don't worry about it; it's normal. It's gonna tell you to like service the car and you know a bunch of other shit. That's totally normal though. It's gonna take a sweet time. Turn off your lights, so you'll save some power. I'll turn up this so you can see better. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, let me do one shake now. You'll be D. Turn this way. It's taking forever. So uh, you're gonna have to take this off, uh, take this wire out, and uh, on the OBD module, you're gonna have to put this one in, blue. the blue one in. So the blue one goes in, and then you know it says the blue one. All right, do it. Take it out, and like I want to show it to the camera. Wait, this thing goes in there, right? Take it out, you'll see it. 
It only goes one way. One way. See? You can't fuck it up because it's only go one way. Alright, it's all the way in. Yeah. Tighten, better. And then you just press Y. Alright. It's taking forever, but I guess it's better to wait. I'm just trying to show you everything because, like, I kind of want to explain it to you by uh, step by step because, like, I didn't see. Uh, like not even a one video that explains it like step by step so that's why uh mm. <sighs> all right so connect the adapter gray so you gotta connect the adapter, adapter gray now take it off pick this one out pull one out and then put the gray one in not sure why they gotta give you like two connectors, but I maybe guess just like for it's like an alpha thing, maybe. Not sure. Different codes, you know. And the gray one is in, I guess. In? Yeah. Alright, so the gray one is in, and then you just press Y. And press Y. There it is. So he's given the ABC, ABS sign, service sign, ESC sign, parking brake sign, AST sign, service forward sign, service ABS sign, brake system sign, ESC again, AST. And there it says complete. Turn the key off and press Y to continue. After it says turn the key off, uh, I'm not sure if you're supposed to turn the key off, but we're gonna see. So press the Y, of course, and then come back here. Then you're supposed to do the ABS, right? Yeah. The ABS, and uh, then uh, then once you press the Y, turn off the key. Um, we didn't turn off the key, so what we're gonna do is uh, come back here. The, uh, after you press in the Y, that like once it tells you to turn off the key and you press the Y, it's going to bring back to you this page. And then you press the ABS, and then you press the Continental ABS MK whatever, and then you press connect again. It's going to connect to your ACU again, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> right, last time I give you a fucking... Uh... Alright, it's going to bring you this page. Okay, once you're on the adjustments, you select the lateral longitude uh, acceleration. Select that, and uh, press continue or execute, press execute, and please read all notes, and press Y to abort, so yes, in progress, complete, press Y to complete, that's done, then you go to reset steering angle, press, press that, and then execute, uh -huh. and please read all notes, press Y, in progress, complete, press Y, go in pressure sensor calibration, pressure sensor, and then execute, same thing, Y, and process, complete. Alright, so after you did the pressure uh, sensor cal cal calibration, so you just disconnect it, disconnect it, 
and then you take out your OBD wire out. So once that out, you press the key and turn the key car off all the way. So your car is off. And then you press the brake and start up the car. Okay, so once your car is on, you shouldn't have any signals or any signs at all. And then you turn off the car again. So your car is off, then you start the car back on. And this is how you do it, and this should actually make your thing work, but we're gonna see. So, moment of truth, you guys. Dynamic, gone to dynamic. And rup, we already got them. And race mode, baby. All right, guys. So, this is actually the video that I just made. This is actually how you guys do uh, code in the button. But, so we just found out that uh, there's like two softwares you could do. The type two and the type three. That I will show you right now, but that's the, the option. We're gonna do it again. And we're gonna do it with the type two. So, see, uh, when you put the car in dynamic, it gives you all these options right here and doesn't say anything in the cluster gauge. So what we're gonna do is we want them to be coming up in the cluster gauge as well. So this actually means that the button is actually working and uh, it's, there's not actually a race mode, so it's not gonna really, uh, you know what I mean, do anything, but like it's gonna only turn off the traction control off, you know what I mean? So we're gonna do it again, and then we're gonna see if it works in the type two, cause like, if yours doesn't work in a type three, you don't have to do the type two too, so it is what it is, but. So since your car is well, once connected already and you go to adjustments and then you see that it says type 3 right here on the the dynamic control selector we're gonna do the type 2 so execute and then we're gonna select the type 2 right here and then we're gonna do the same process that we did the ABS and everything and then uh, I'm not gonna explain to you guys everything again so just go back and look at the video so we're gonna do this and then uh, we're gonna see if it works if it does then you guys know that if it doesn't work with the type 3 then you're gonna have to do the type 2 all right all right guys so this is after like five days the last video that i recorded the when i did the type 2 to type uh, 3 to type 2 right we are back what's up guys and uh so it didn't really work the other day with our car like we tried to do the type 2 and it still worked like i already had like the signs right here can't come up but like there were like no signs in the uh the cluster so I'm not sure what the problem is with our car, but this is how you program it in your car. So like, I'm gonna just post this video for you guys. So if you like, cause like, you know, some people are asking like, they want the program video already. So this is how you program the car into your uh, alpha or your button into your car. So that's it. And uh, I'm gonna find out about my car, why it's not working on the uh, alpha that we have, but we're gonna find out and figure it out. And if you guys know, uh, how does it work? Like, why is it not working? What we're doing wrong? Let me know. But this is how you're supposed to do it. And thanks so much for watching. Peace out. We're gonna try doing it once more again. If it doesn't still still work, we're gonna go to professionals, and then we'll find out. Let you guys know what, what like what we did wrong. But like, yeah, this is how you do it, and this is the process. Thanks so much for watching.